Today on the Do-It-Yourself Dad channel, we're going to be installing a car rear view camera. Um, what you're going to need for this install is pretty simple stuff. You're going to need the um, install kit, and some things you may need depending upon your install is one of these ATA circuits and some quick splices to get the power to your camera. So let's check out what comes inside the box here. It's a pretty simple setup. It comes with a screen, the actual camera here that mounts to the back of your car, and then your uh, various power cables to run power to the screen, power to the camera, and then the video cable that goes from the back to the front. They do sell these in wireless as well. Um, we had tried one once before and it never really worked that well. The wireless signal was pretty crummy. So we're gonna go with a wired one. All this stuff can be had for about $30. Um, this kit was about $30 and I have a link in the description below. And then the other parts that you're gonna need are gonna cost you anywhere from five to 10 if you need them at all. You're going to start by removing the license plate frame and mounting the camera and then routing the wires behind the license plate and tucking them into the bumper. So now it's time to run power to the rear camera. So we've removed the rear uh, brake light here. You can see I've got it here. And this is the reverse light. And you can check by the front, reverse is gonna be clear. You come to the back and uh, here's the uh, power and ground coming off of your reverse light. If uh, you need to know how to remove your light bezel and you don't know how, um, it's car specific. So you wanna check, some are screws, some just pop out. So um, look that up. And now we're gonna use these little um, taps. And these are real simple, they're pretty neat and easy to use. All you do, you pop them open like this, and you run your wire through like that. This part snaps shut to hold that in place. And then you're gonna take your power, it's this guy right here, and you feed it in through the top here. And once that's in, you grab a uh, set of pliers here. And this little piece here, you can see it there, that gets crimped down. And that splices through those two wires and gives you a nice connection. Now when you're picking these out, there are a couple different kinds. And you can see here, this one has a gel inside it, and that helps make these a little bit more weatherproof. And since you're putting these on a car that's gonna be out in the rain, I would recommend getting the weatherproof ones. Once that's done, this piece snaps closed, and you've got yourself a connection. You're gonna do the same thing to the other side here. So now your wire's hooked in, you've got your power for your camera all set up. Um, now it's a good idea to test this before you run everything. So we're gonna test it by just hooking in the monitor, throwing the truck in reverse, and making sure the monitor power's on, uh, because it's the same adapter here, just to make sure you've got power before you start hiding all the wires and tucking them in. So once you've got that all hooked in, and your taillight in place, you're gonna run your, uh, your power cable here for the camera down. And we're gonna run it along the underside of the truck here, and you're gonna wanna tuck it up and uh, we got a lot of other wires back here, so we might as well clean these up while we're down here too. But you want to tuck it up so it's not in the way and find your um, power connector for your rear view camera. And you're going to plug that in and then you just get zip ties. And zip tie everything up out of the way here so it's not dangling down as you drive down the road. So our next step here is to get into our, uh, our fuse box here. And what we're going to use is one of these uh, ATA circuits. And what this does this you uh, take out one of your fuses and we're going to take out one of the ignition fuses because we want this thing to turn on and off when we key the car on and off. So it, uh, it bypasses out and it gives you another power lead and the, uh, the first fuse on the right there is the existing fuse and the one on the left there is the fused new circuit. So you are doing a new 10 amp fuse circuit. So um, you can look at your wiring diagram here, or your fuse diagram. You can find the fuse that says ignition. We're going to be tapping into this one up here. And it's real simple. All you gotta do is just plug it in and then crimp on your power lead here. And then you're gonna find something like this that mounts into the body and that's where we'll hook our ground. So uh, let's do that. So now you can see here, we've got uh, the ground hooked to a good ground going into the body. And then we have here the um, added circuit and we are just going to take that guy and he's gonna, he's gonna just get popped right in there. and pushed in and if you can see that now there's that added circuit and then there's the power that comes out and that's going to run out to our screen. So at this point it's not a bad idea to go ahead and hook everything up um, even though you haven't routed all the wires underneath the vehicle yet just to make sure that everything works before you start tucking wires and don't have a chance to get back in and fix stuff. So we can see here it works so everything is hooked up now we just need to tuck wires and get the uh, monitor mounted. Every car you work on is going to be a little bit different but you want to make sure that you wire 
up all the way up to the front. Blah. Every car you work on is going to be a little bit different, but you want to make sure that you tuck your wires up out of the way so they don't catch on anything mechanical. And uh, use zip ties along the way to make sure you anchor them. Be sure you keep this away from moving parts, suspension, and things like over there, the hot exhaust. Choose the best place to put your screen, and then run it through your dash, conceal your wires, tuck it all up, and you'll be all good to go. So now when you throw your truck into reverse, your backup camera is going to come on. If this video helped you out at all, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. Give me a great big thumbs up. And remember, all these products are available in the description below. And you can do this whole job for about $30. Thanks for watching.